The fate of six Miami firefighters fired for taking part in a racist and lewd prank at a fire station is in the hands of the city's firefighters union. And tonight, we're hearing from the firefighter who was victimized. CBS 4's Aurelia Ortega is in the control room with more. Aurelia? Elia, the firefighter, says he's received tons of support from the community, and he has even had people come up to him and apologize for his colleagues' actions. But he says an apology is something he has yet to get from the firefighters. The victim's not just myself and my family. It's the people in the community who look like me and my family. Because if this is what they feel about me, who wears the same uniform that they wear, how do they truly feel about these people whose homes they're welcomed into at the time when they're most needing someone to care for them? City of Miami Fire Department Lieutenant Robert Webster speaking out as six firefighters accused of drawing lewd images and leaving a noose draped over a family picture tried to get their jobs back. It's been a resounding amount of support from the community. People coming up to the station just wanting to meet and apologize for what these guys have done. When at the same time, these individuals have not even apologized for what they've done. The six City of Miami firefighters fired William Bryson, David Rivera, Kevin Mesoso, Justin Rumba, Alejandro Sese, and Harold Santana. In his letter of termination, City of Miami officials wrote to Captain Bryson, quote, members under your direct supervision defaced several personal photos of a fellow firefighter with graphic and obscene phallic renderings, end quote. The firefighters have filed grievances with the firefighters union to get their jobs back. Members of the Black Firefighters Association were present for a meeting that took place. This is bigger than just our fire department. This is something that's, that covers race, gender, religion, because the incident that occurred could have happened to anybody. And we have reached out to the firefighters union regarding a decision, and we have not yet heard back. We will, of course, keep you posted. Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News.